you're not going to, you know, Survivors, it's your girl Rika here, and today, 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 my darlings, we're back here with another video. If you're a little subscriber, you're so heavy, girl. Thank you so, 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 so much. I love you. But if the first time seeing your girl, seeing my face, where have you been? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because you won't be disappointed with any of the content that I bring to you. I promise. Without further ado, guys, it's a review, it's a review, it's a review, guys. Clearly, you can see this fresh face. So, what this means is either I'm doing a foundation, honey, or I'm doing a primer. Which one is it going to be? Well, today, sweetie, I am doing a primer. Oh my God, I am so living for this. I am living for this. I am living for this. I am living for this because you already know I absolutely love beauty glaze they are amazing a really well done company you guys already know i am living for the beauty glaze they're easy on the pocket the stuff that they make is really really good they really 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 are a cool company also they are cruelty free sweetie because we do not want to be hurting any fair babies to make this beautiful makeup honey there is absolutely no need sweetie so they also do that beauty glaze, beauty glaze. and the quality you get is literally high and brand quality you're getting that for a fridge fraction small minute price so you cannot go wrong with that let's get into this packaging sweetie so this is the packaging sweetie on this side yes my am and then you also have all the little writing on this side all of this is raised up so you can actually feel this this is called unicorn essence it's also a illuminator an antioxidant it's a serum plus it's a primer honey so you can use this for different different things so obviously it has directions it says shake well before use we already know that's what you need to do with any type of serum and it goes apply to clean face before moisturizing may be used as a primer before makeup applications so it says here unicorn tear this innovate illuminating solvent acts as a dual purpose serum which helps protect the skin from free radical damage while preparing it for layering moisturizer or makeup application it can be used as an effective primer before applying your makeup foundation or revive cream mix with your dried up cream products and a highlighting glow on top of your cheek Bones. so that's basically what you can do with this bottle right here it's 15 mils and I'm gonna tell you sweeties is it worth your coins so this is gonna be a demo where I try this out for you guys I'm gonna use it as a primer and obviously I can tell you the texture and stuff like that I'll let you know how this actually feels sweeties and also I'm gonna put on the foundation to see if it's actually worth using as a primer because I have never used a cream solution as a primer before you know there is primers that you can spray on and mist primers and, and cream and all the rest of it I always use a gel like substance or a water based substance and that's not because I specifically like that it just I just haven't bought a non cream non gel based primer so this is new territory for me guys and I am highly excited for it so without further ado let me open this packet for you guys and get into what the actual bottle looks like and get into this demo for you guys and this is what you always want to see from a beauty glaze product cruelty free as i mentioned before and this is what it looks like very beautiful loving the gold tip with the purple because purple is obviously you know my favorite color and it just says unicorn essence ideal for all skin types oil free free from sulfates and free from barber bins apply to clean face before moisturizer may be used as a primer before makeup application shake well before use so we're gonna just shake that up because they're saying to shake it up sweetie so we're gonna shake that up and we're just gonna go and twist that open like so oh okay so this is very jelly that's why they told you to to really shake it so i'm gonna go back in and shake it vigorously because it even though it's an oil it is quite slimy don't know if that is the right texture but it looks very slimy that's now mixed up perfectly so this is what it looks like can you see that so it's kind of like a gel like substance and it smells like rose 
which is beautiful so I'm just gonna pick up some of the product when you squeeze it it actually does squeeze very well and it picks up the product very very well that's literally all the way so I'm just gonna put a little bit here oh it is very unicorny very shimmery living for it so I'm gonna rub that in I'm gonna tell you how that feels oh yeah this feels amazing guys and it smells so good so I'm gonna let you know how it actually felt so it felt nice but I have to say it was very even though it says it's all free I found it very greasy in places as you can see on my face my forehead is very shiny very greasy but it does have that hydrating feel with it as well you can technically say it's hydrating your skin but you felt it it felt heavy whereas other primers that i have reviewed in the past very lightweight you don't feel like you're putting anything on your face but you definitely felt like you're putting something on your face it felt very thick in places it's not oily but it is greasy so you know my hands are very shiny from the texture i find that my nose and my and my t-zone basically is very very shiny because of the primer but but that's just first impressions of me putting it on my skin obviously would I want my skin to look shiny if it if I was just using this as an essence oil as a serum yes you want your face to look very hydrated very nice very glowy it does illuminate it does do what it says it does it's an illuminator but as for a primer we will have to see how that works when I put the foundation on in a minute but as a serum as a illuminator yes 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 Yes, clearly you can see my skin has brightened up in places you can clearly see that it's very hydrated in places it doesn't look oily it has a shine to it so as an illuminate and a serum yes does what it's meant to do it's meant to brighten up your skin it's meant to rehydrate your skin it's meant to look very nice and all these type of things my face don't look dry it doesn't look pasty it looks illuminating to me I'm only really looking at the viewfinder but to me in my little mirror that's what it looks like but I'm gonna now go in with a foundation and then I'm gonna show you guys if this can actually be used as a primer because there's a lot of things out there that said it does four or five things but let's be real when you're making something and it's meant to do all of these things illuminator serum a highlighter and a primer you know something falls short so as an illuminator as a serum I can give this 10 out of 10 it looks nice it is making my skin feel good I don't feel the weight of it like I did when I first put it on I think now it's more seeped into my skin it feels a lot more lightweight but I still do feel like I've got something on my skin so let's see if that's because it's got the thick Base because of the primer side of things so the foundation of choice is going to be the bourgeois Paris healthy mix foundation it has a whole lot of vitamins in it which is C E and B5 it has a very nice dark tone to it very very lovely slight orange undertone I tested this out not so long ago if you guys remember and I thought at first it was very dark for my skin complexion but it really did the job it's a very nice stay in place full coverage so this would obviously determine how good the primer is so I am living for that so here we go So hey guys, I am back from doing my foundation. So first things first, I find that as a primer, not so much. I found that the makeup kind of went on like I didn't have a primer on. So you know, back in the day when you didn't know anything about primer, you didn't know what it does, what it does, that and the other, you obviously would just put foundation on your face. So that would leave certain things like patches in places where you know I have tested out this foundation before sweetie and I know this foundation is very full coverage and I know the last time I did it I was using this as a primer which is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Mattifying Base so I used this and literally it was like bulletproof you couldn't see anything like you can still see my beauty spot here you can see my beauty spot here you know there's certain places where as soon as I put the beauty blender on my face it just just took away 
the foundation completely and that was not my experience i'm not using a different beauty blender i'm using the same quality beauty blender i'm using the same foundation that got me the full coverage look i'm using the same amount of pumps so the only thing that can make me feel like that this is not working out as a primer is what i'm using as a primer which is the beauty glaze unicorn essence oil so as an essence oil as an illuminator as all of those other things of the serum i give it 10 out of 10 it is beautiful it made my skin radiate it just looks so healthy it wasn't oily it had a little bit of a greasy texture so personally i would definitely use it for what it says it's used for because primer comes last sweeties so it's an illuminator it's an antioxidant it's a serum plus can be use as a primer so that's what it says so technically they put the work in making it an illuminator antioxidant and serum first before they they looked at being a primer you know what i'm saying to you they might not even made it like a primer a lot of these companies will be like oh but you could use it as a primer but we come across a lot of those type of companies where it's like oh well well it's kind of an oil they can use it that's not how it necessarily works primers are different formulas altogether sweetie so I have no issues with beauty glaze i have no issues with this product for what it is thank god it does other things but if it came out like this and it came out as a primer i would have to say no ma'am i would have to say absolutely not it doesn't go into a week's bag of tricks sweetie but as it is it's an essence oil it says essence oil on the front at the back is when you find out that it can be used for all these other things so as an essence oil as a serum as an illuminator i am living for it it goes into Eureka's bag of tricks as a primer darling i have to say no ma'am it's not for me it doesn't go in Eureka's bag of tricks as a primer as a cream rehydrator as an illuminator as a serum yes darling yes darling i am living for it is it worth your coins i think it is you know you might review it yourself and say you know what i can use this as a primer but for me sweetie it didn't work as a primer i wouldn't use this as a primer i would definitely use it as an illuminator i'll definitely use it as a serum as something that's going to highlight my face and make my face look healthy but i would definitely then put a primer over it if i am going to apply makeup i'm just going to do that because i found that it moved away i find that it slipped in places i found that it made my foundation not not full coverage because you know it, it's it's not sticking to the formula properly it's not keeping it in place that's what you want from your primer you want your primer to obviously be blur the pores honey blur them blur them to the guards sweetie and you also want it to obviously match your foundation perfectly so that it sticks together so that you can get that full coverage look you know primer and foundation is meant to work together and this really just doesn't work together with me so is it worth your coins yes i think it is worth your coins you get 15 mils for five pound 88 from amazon as an aluminum antioxidant as a serum and if it works for you as a primer for £5.88 there is some oils out there it's just an oil it's just an oil and that is it sweeties you're looking at something 35 plus for this size or less than this less than 15 mils so think about what you're getting here you're getting an illuminator it has antioxidants in it it's a serum and it's a primer also it rehydrates your old dried out highlighters or creams so you know you can use it for that as well for £5.88 sweetie is it worth your coins yes it is and does it go into Eureka's bag of chicks yes it does sweetie it's serious he does it's been your girl Rika Yamazaki here mm-hmm that's not that you're loved and you're all that anybody needs sweetie and I'll catch you yes you the one that came to the end of the video hands with your girl I'll catch you on another video Mwah! Golden